This video is part of a series of short videos on asthma and how it is treated. They are listed here in a logical order that you might choose to watch them in. If you want, click on an icon to leave this video and watch another one earlier in the sequence. You can easily come back to this one later. The puffer that you will most likely use when you're having asthma symptoms and feeling short of breath is your reliever puffer. Hopefully this will relieve you of your asthma symptoms. When you use this puffer or inhaler, it sends a drug called a beta agonist down into your airways. When the drug gets into your airway, it makes the smooth muscle relax, which opens up your airway quite quickly. It actually takes about 10 minutes for the drug to open up your airway, but most people start to feel better after only a few seconds. Although this puffer is very good at opening up your airway, it does not keep it open, and your symptoms may come back after a few hours. Some people try to deal with this by using their reliever puffer over and over again. This is not a good idea, because the drug in this puffer does not work as well if you take too much. Another problem with your reliever puffer is that it does not do anything to get rid of the inflammation. We already know that this is not good because it is the inflammation that is causing the airway to become narrow. The things that you should remember about your reliever puffer are listed here. It rapidly opens up your airway when you are short of breath. That is why you should always carry this puffer with you. It only lasts a few hours which is why it is important for you to use your preventer medication that we will talk about soon. If you do use your reliever puffer too often, you might get into trouble because it will stop working as well. That is an important reason why you should be trying to control your asthma with your preventer medication. So even though you love your reliever puffer and you should always carry it with you, remember to only use it when you're feeling short of breath due to your asthma. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you would like to watch another in the series, click on that icon here. If not, thank you for watching.